Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how you can uh, push non-empty values within uh, Matomo Analytics. A uh, typical use case, the following one, is when you trigger uh, a tag and you would like to measure every, let's say, uh, clicks which are happening on, on an element within Matomo, but you don't want to get uh, the, let's say, the empty click. So typically you see this image um, let, let's imagine that there's nothing to grab, I mean, no click text, no ID. If uh, you define it as, uh, as an event, uh, you may uh, receive within your Matomo something which, which looks like this. Uh, so to say an empty event, and this empty event will look like this, you see? It's, uh, for example, in my case, here is the category, this is the action and the name is in fact empty because um, the let's say the tag that we define based on the click text here is not uh, pushing any value so the issue is that you're going to get a lot of those empty events which are not telling you anything and as they are not telling you anything you just know that people interacted with something but you don't know what is this something so it's like um, <clears throat> overloading your database for nothing and, and that's an issue because after you need to, to delete that. Um, so in order to fix this, what you need to do is that uh, you need to go over here and uh, out of the tag that you are creating. Of course, uh, this needs to be, to be changed according to what you want, but in my case, as my event uh, over here is based on uh, the click text, so please, every time that someone's going to click on something, just send me the, the text click, the click text. Of course, you can apply it to click ID, to whatever you want. And then I'm adding this uh, regex, does not match the regular expression, and I'm then precising what is uh, the let's say the pattern uh, so in my case here it's like if the the text is absent if there's no text if there's no value inserted within it um, then do not do not react on it um, there are some possible let's say changes that you can do because in some cases even if the value is let's say missing it's not sending no value, it's sending the value null. Uh, so in this case, you rather should add, in fact, this uh, condition as well. Uh, so here it means that whatever the word's going to be, uh, if it's named null, then I don't want the data to be sent to, to Matomo. And as a result, uh, then the, the clicks won't be, won't be tracked. So I can give you like a quick quick overview about what it looks like. So if I go on my website over here, uh, so typically here, um, if I just do like a, a right click on this one, you see that it's reacting because the click text equals something. But if I do the same thing over here, as you can see, it's not, it's not reacting because this uh, given image is in fact empty. You see, it's not carrying any, any text at all. So that's the reason why it has not been pushed, whereas my uh, trigger is based on every click, whatever it is, okay? Um, of course, if you want to, let's say, exclude some um, elements, for example, the paragraph makes no sense because it will as well like overload uh, your, um, your um, let's say, your, um, your math mode, then you can just do, okay, if someone click on an element and this element is not a P element, then it's gonna remove as well the, the P. So typically that's what we can do over here. Uh, so let's imagine that. So there's definitely a, a click text over here. And if I do, you see now a right click, then it's not gonna consider this full paragraph, right? So it does consider, you see this given title or this given link over here or whatever okay and that's everything that i uh, wanted to show you uh, just to let you know that i think that in the future the trigger will support uh, elements which are empty values but at the moment it do not so for example over here if you just say hey i wish uh, the click id to be equal to uh, to nothing uh, and that i update it it's going to remove in fact uh, the associated trigger you see it's not taking it into the consideration which is not the case for uh, the segment so for example in the segment within matmo 
you can create a, a segment for which the value equal uh, nothing. So action actions null in visits, and I think it's gonna validate it anyway. So here, as you can see, actions null in visits is gonna take into consideration that the choice of the let's say of the owner of Matomo, the admin, was to have empty values. So this is supported as a segment. I think it's kind of supported for the reports but it does not support it for the tag manager yet. So that's the, the trick I show you will, will work out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.